Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I'm making sure I'm taking my time and enunciating that title because it takes every fiber of my being to not accidentally call this game something different within the first few episodes of a new series. So anyway, here we are, back to World 1, Level 2 Shipwreck Shore. We're gonna do two levels today as Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. I'd considered going back and replaying the first level on a regular save file, not funky mode. Because full discretion, funky mode, even when you're not playing as Funky Kong, is still treated as a bit of an easy mode. Whereas you can see in the upper left, Donkey Kong has three hits. On any regular play and save file, you'll have two. Not counting your Kong Panion, who gives you the additional two, obviously. But in this one, you get three apiece. So I considered changing it, thinking that it is a little bit of a cheese to play through the game with an extra hit for both of my players. But then I also thought, you know what? It's my channel, and this game is meant to be fun, lighthearted. See, and look, I'm already down to two hits anyway. Fun, lighthearted, simple, cash. I shouldn't say simple, this game actually is pretty tricky. But I'm here to have fun. You will see some MLG Pro moments, as you always do, as a courtesy from D Mike Industries. But you know what? If it makes the game a little bit easier for me and enjoyable, then I'm going to do it, especially considering the fact that I'm commentating, which is a bit of a handicap. So, anyway, here is our second Kong Panion of the game the introduction to the now informed Dixie Kong, so thank you for that. Thank you, viewers. She and Diddy were able to conquer Kremlin as a daring, co oh, come on. As a daring couple in Donkey Kong Country 2, my favorite Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. I actually was asked this the other day, what my favorite Donkey Kong Country was in general. And I would have to say it is this one. I know that that might be a hot take, but I think that Donkey Kong Country 2 is the best one on the Super Nintendo, but I feel like this one in general is the best one overall. It has the most polish. And if we take off the nostalgic lens, this one is just the most well-made. It kind of holds true to all the things that makes the original Donkey Kong great. And still has enough of that kind of old school flair that keeps me coming back. I mean, I've... I bought three copies of this game, so obviously I like it a little bit. But anyway, here's our first bonus stage with Dixie. She has a bit of a kind of a flutter. A double jump, per se. Which I think makes her a little bit more useful than Diddy. Being able to hover with Diddy is nice, but Dixie kind of gives you this additional vertical element, which is nice. So with Diddy, you're going to get more lateral movement. But having that vertical movement, I think, is more useful. So that's why I am usually a fan of Dixie. So she will probably be my Kong Panion of choice for most of these levels. Now, there are some levels where she is not a, the best fit, and we'll actually see that today. But in general, she is the one that if I have my choice... Ooh, got attacked by Jaws there. If I have my choice, it's always going to be Dixie. And what's nice is that the game gives you at least the illusion of choice. So that's kind of nice. But I wouldn't have been able to make it to that spot up there without Dixie. The additional height that she gifted me in that area was what helped me get up there. So I think it's super useful. I think Dixie is super fun. She's super cute. She is definitely the most emphatic of all the Kongs. She seems to really enjoy exploring with Donkey Kong and helping me to murder the goons and thugs that have taken over this beautiful island. So good for her. She's very vindictive, just like me. Respect it. All right, so here we go. Dixie's going to help us with this nice big sack. Go ahead and grab yourself... An enemy, the turtle, oops, we're doing great. This is some uh, pro move. There we go, Dixie does help out again. 
grab yourself a helmeted enemy or a turtle. Either of them will work perfectly fine for the occasion. And throw them at that big bag. And then yourself a puzzle piece. The exchange rate from for sacks is a big old puzzle piece. So we like that. Yeah, this game is just so well made, going back to my point. I would say that for the time, Donkey Kong Country 2 is definitely legendary. That's how I'll, that's how I'll frame it. It's definitely one of those games that I think everybody should play. I mean, I love the first Donkey Kong Country, don't get me wrong. That's the OG. And if those of you watched my Super Nintendo Sunday's Let's Play with Odin, he and I kind of came to the conclusion that the reason why it's so effective as a game is just because of how simple it is. So now we have a nice amount of puzzle pieces, six out of nine. It's a simple game, the first one. And it just, it, it doesn't try too hard. That's what I feel like some games can wind up being a little rough to play through. So I feel like Donkey Kong Country 2 does everything correct in terms of balancing what you got from the first game and just kind of making it better. Whereas Donkey Kong Country 3 is kind of the, I guess the black sheep of that series. It's the one, oop, there's a lot of banana coins. Forgot about these. It's the one that I think it's the most forgotten just because Kitty Kong is kind of unremarkable. It tries to do what number two does just a little bit worse. And sometimes you'll have that with sequels, whether it's movies or games, you know. You've got people that want to try to take advantage of their predecessor's success. And they want to try to push the envelope. And sometimes that turns into something amazing. But other times it doesn't. So you might wind up with a game like Donkey Kong Country 3, which I feel is a good game. It's definitely worth playing. But I would say in general, as a member of a legendary series like Donkey Kong Country is, I feel like it's a little bit of a letdown. So, not a huge fan of DKC3, not my favorite one. I remember when I was a kid and I would be at the old shopping mall with my family in one place that you could buy video games, which I thought was strange, but I mean, you could really buy anything from this place, to be honest, Sears. So that's gonna make me feel old. Maybe some of you will as well. Sears isn't really a thing anymore. But the Sears catalog was kind of a big deal for a lot of people. And I remember there would be a kiosk in the in the Sears that was in the mall that I grew up at. And I would go there while people in my family were shopping, doing a little browsing, as my mom likes to say, which I also like to refer to as a waste of time. And that would lead to me having time where I would go and have a little adventure, walk over to the old Sears, get myself some, uh, some experience. Oh boy, Let's see if I can grab all these, come here. Yes, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I can, whoop. I'm about to find out if I, can, if I can get this an additional way. Hold on a second. Just a moment, everybody. Hopefully the puzzle piece is still there. Right, and this is why we have Dixie. So that's nine out of nine. You might've noticed something fishy about what I did a little bit ago underneath where those grasshoppers are. We'll come back to that. Don't you worry your sweet little hearts. But we're just gonna swim along. But yeah, I remember that was the game that when I would go to that store as a kid, I would have the opportunity to, do I have all the Kong letters? I don't, I missed the G. Oh goodness, we gotta go back. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it. Hold on a second, we'll see what we can do. Eh? See if I can jump on this guy. Hey, look at that. And I sacrificed, <laughs> I sacrificed Dixie in the process, but it was worth it, right? Sometimes the ends justify the means. Okay, are the means justify the ends? I don't know, however I feel about that. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get a beta coin. That's not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Anyway, Donkey Kong Country 3, I remember playing that as a kid. Not being super enamored with it, but it was fun. Okay, so we murdered Dixie in the process, but we completed that level. Very good for us, but there's more that level that meets the eye. 
So I'm actually gonna go right back in and you might be saying, whoa, replaying levels? d -Mike plays? That's a, that is not d -Mike Industries standards. But Fred not friends, there is something very special afoot. So I'm actually gonna breeze through this one as fast as I can here. This is gonna be the closest as I mess up. This is gonna be the closest that you'll see me to speed running. I'm gonna grab Dixie, you need her, make sure you got her on your team. Don't sacrifice her this time around. Take her with you. And you'll see why in a moment. So there was that little area that I teased earlier where those grasshoppers were. And you might be thinking to yourself, huh, who gives an H and H about grasshoppers? Well, I know some people eat them, but that's not what we're gonna do today. We are gonna do some exploring. And Dixie is a great partner to help you do this. You can only explore this additional area that I'm gonna show you upon partnering with Dixie. I really forgot how words work there for a moment. So here we go. We are almost there. Actually, I need to be very thankful that there's actually a DK barrel here because I'm being an absolute ding dong, or I guess I should say a Dixie barrel. Dixie chicks. All right, so here, this little area, this alcove down here, is an area that can only be explored if the game would let me. It's a game that, it's a spot out of the game that can only be explored. Now this is a very cute little mechanic. I don't understand the physics behind Dixie's ponytail corkscrewing down into this watery abyss, but there's a secret portal here. This is the first of a few secret entries to a bonus level. So that's fun, right? Get yourself some more banana coins for your efforts. And if you've already completed the level, it doesn't really change anything, but this does open up an additional level within the first world, so that's very nice. I would cut away to certain points but I also don't want to not show where it is in the level. I feel like sometimes a cutaway can be a little jarring, so. So here we go, we have unlocked Funky's flying by. I'm not sure how you can be playing as Funky and also use him as your Secretary of Commerce, but here you go. So you can buy plenty of things here, which I feel sort of cheeses the game, but that is putting value behind the banana coin. Hopefully there's not too much inflation. So, you can buy a red balloon that's a life, you can buy green balloons. These ones will essentially rescue you from falling into a pit, which actually would be pretty useful. It's kind of like the bubble gum from Do Re Mi. And if you want extra time underwater, you get the blue balloons. Those ones are kind of useless. So here's a heart. You actually have an inventory in this game, so prior to starting a level, you can choose what you want to bring with you, which is quite nice. We have a crash guard, which is going to bolster your defenses for vehicles. I wonder what that could mean. We have banana juice. I think that that actually fills up a special bonus meter that I'll show off in a moment. And then obviously you have two barrels here, DD and DX, but CK. Huh, wonder what that could be. And I'm actually going to use the banana coins to buy some figurines as well, because I think that that's kind of fun. Last but not least is an animal buddy from Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. More so 2 than 1. 1, he was just kind of a flashlight but two he actually would carry you around is Squawks. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm going to use Squawks, but first I'm gonna buy some figurines. So this is the capsule toy machine. What's nice is you can buy these in whatever quantity you want. Obviously you can only buy them up to the amount of banana coins that you have. So in this case, I'm just gonna buy five and these are all random. And then when you buy these, they're kind of the, you can check out the 3D models and the different art of all of these different things. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them all, but you know, I'm gonna try to just buy a handful of them. You'll wind up getting doubles, that's okay. But yeah, it's kind of fun. These are basically the trophies of the game. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and grab Squawks. He will help you find your puzzle pieces. Do I need help find the puzzle pieces? Uh, debatable, but anyway, with Squawks being our buddy. 
I think we should be able to check our inventory here. So here you go. In funky mode, you can take up to five items and do a level with you. You can also select items while playing through a level. So that's very nice. In this case, the only item that we have is a Squawks. So we will bring Squawks with us. And that's it. Let's go ahead and play. I don't know if I could have switched teammates, but I'm gonna to want to do that here in a moment. If not, this this first run through, I guess, isn't super important that you have you have a bonus teammate. It doesn't really matter. Okay, here we go. So we got Squawks with us. In the same way that Dixie Kong was the right choice for the previous level, she's not quite the right choice for this one, but that's okay. And you'll see why in a moment. But first, it's bonus time. I got a big old bonus for you. This is another collect them all kind of thing. All of these bonus levels are basically that. You collect all the bananas in 30 seconds, and then hopefully you don't fall into the pit where the puzzle piece is laying in wait. Because if you do, oh, I'm doing great. Just need to hurry up here a little bit. Kind of, you know, I'm goofing. I'm doing a little goofing here. No, we'll be fine. Well, that's one of the dangers of these bonus levels is that you got to be careful because you can fall down to those pits and that does count as a loss. So you will not acquire said puzzle piece in the moment. But anyway, we have Squawks. He's going to make his presence known anytime that there's a puzzle piece around. So that's pretty useful. It's probably one of those things maybe that you would do if you go back into a level and you miss some puzzle pieces, bring Squawks with you. So here we go. We're going to swap out partners and Dixie will fly away. And instead, we'll be joined by the OG Donkey Kong. I believe he is the grandfather of Donkey Kong. This is Cranky Kong. So Cranky Kong is going to help us out. Super good of Squawks to not react until the puzzle piece was already uncovered. Thankfully, I knew where that was. But I guess he didn't. Or it didn't. So, Squawks, super useful. Very good use of five banana coins. It's one of the downside to this level is that some of these items are just kind of hit or miss. So, use them at your leisure. You'll get so many banana coins when you play through these games that it doesn't really matter what you spend them on. I mean, you can just load up on lives if you really want. That's kind of what I like to do if I'm getting kind of low, but you know, getting low on lives is not really something that here at D Mike Industries we do because we're just kind of too epic, so wouldn't really worry about it. But okay, seems like Squawks is up to something. What is it, boy? What do you sense? Great. Okay, so we're making Squawks so happy. He is living the life. It is living the life. So yeah, you can. Um, you can just blast through the bottom of that if you want to, speed things up. So as you could see, <laughs> as I mess up right there, as I was trying to show, this is going swimmingly, this partnership that we have with Grandpa Cranky is used on spikes. As you can see, these spikes that are along the ground, which we should have been able to bounce onto, but I'm doing horribly. You can jump on those using his cane and he is impervious to spike damage. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if I can show that off. There we go. We're making it happen. We're not embarrassing ourselves the entire episode. But yes. There's certain instances where you need Cranky to get to certain areas because only his cane is gonna give you enough bounce to do that. Or sometimes you just forget to hit the button, like me. So Cranky is interesting and I think he's fun to use. But there's gonna be a lot of moments when I play through this that I'm just gonna completely whiff on the button and uh, take damage. So, same rules apply. Yep, there we go. Same rules apply with your Kong partners. Actually, having this additional hit has been pretty useful considering how much of a bonehead I am. So, I guess funky mode is coming in handy after all. Don't forget to duck here. Quack, quack, quack. But the game is very generous with you know, the different partner barrels, it's very generous with hearts, banana coins. So really there's not, there's not too much of a struggle if you're even remotely competent at this game, unlike me. 
so just keep that in mind. But even getting damage isn't really that big of a deal. The big reason for that not being something of concern is just the sheer amount of resources there are in healing yourself. So you're going to find a ton of healing items, you're going to find a ton of barrels. You know, it's kind of a, a nothing burger in terms of healing yourself. Like, exactly. Like, there's going to be things like that littered all over the levels. Some of the levels later on are a little bit less forgiving. So there's that. You have to be careful with that. Oop. Okay. Whoops. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen, but I was trying to avoid it. It's okay, though. We have a good, relatively close checkpoint. But as a platformer does, sometimes it will pull a fast on you. It's a little tough to get used to the the pogo. You have to really hit it as you're, like, prior to you jumping to the ground. You almost have to hold the button down. So that can make it a little tricky. It's kind of annoying. But it's all worth it because of how happy Squox is. Like, come on. We were making his day. No beaks about it. He's having a great time. And I'm just kind of happy to spread some joy, you know? We're a little past the holiday season, but hey. Nothing saying that you can't make somebody happy, or I guess a digitally in inanimate bird. Not real. You know, I guess we're making the government happy. So, here's a puzzle. Here's your first bonus stage with, not really a puzzle. This is your first bonus stage with Cranky. So, same rules apply. Click the nanas. Whoop. Okay, or don't. That's okay. We'll actually come back. This level's gonna get played twice, and you might be saying, Oh, D-Mike, why is that? Well, you'll find out. But that's okay. I usually will not be playing most of the levels twice, because I'm hopefully going to be competent enough to only need to do it once, but thankfully this one is a repeater. So we will be coming back here in a moment. Okay, great. So I missed everything. That was awesome. I don't know if I have all the Kong letters or not. Let's see. Do I? I do. And as you can see, there is a puzzle piece up here. But that's the that's the level. So we'll go ahead and end it with some lackluster bananas for our lackluster performance. But that's okay. So we did get all the puzzle pieces. What a shame. Such a letdown. But fear not, faithful viewers. We will be entering back into Canopy Chaos right now. And I love the animation they have of Cranky rolling on Donkey Kong. It's very nice with his wispy beard floating all around. Kind of reminds me of Rafiki from Lion King. Please don't see me just... Okay, so we're back at it. And this actually requires you to play most of the level. So the one with Dixie, it wasn't super involved. You didn't have to really do much of it. But this one, the goal that we're going to have, especially now considering that I missed the bonus. Surprise. It's actually probably going to be the death of me. And the death of Donkey Kong and his friends. Is you have to go through most of the levels. So I'm going to try to breeze through this as fast as I can. Wouldn't want to keep you, you lovely viewers waiting. That's okay. Thankfully these levels aren't really too tough in the beginning. So. I almost killed myself right there. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. I actually was trying to shoot to the far side, but I, I whiffed. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, what's nice with Cranky is you can just use his cane and kind of bounce through what you're trying to do. It's really nice. You can really pick up some good speed. Completely miss ducking, as we do here in the business. Just trying to show you what not to do, as usual. We're only after that bonus after all, right? That's the only reason we came back. So we're pretty close to it now. Not too far away. These weird slugs and their goo are making me very uncomfortable. But I do love pretty much every character design in this game. They're all very funny and silly. I guess that's kind of the same thing. But that's okay. So we're gonna hit up that bonus here in a moment. 
do believe I haven't missed it yet. Or have I missed it? Maybe I need to go back. I'm a little forgetful. Sometimes when you're blasting through a game and you're just doing so well, you just can't help yourself. It was right here. That was kind of a fake out. Not intentionally, because I legitimately did forget. So, you're welcome. I did come back though. Here at D Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on integrity and mindfulness. Right? Making sure that we don't leave anybody anybody out. No bonus room left behind. So this time it's going a lot smoother. But we can grab the final puzzle piece. And that gives us the seventh of seven. And now we can proceed. To the real reason we came back. <gasps> what could that be, you might ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, in this area up here, there was a puzzle piece. But upon further inspection, there's the original Donkey Kong Country theme and a portal, which can only be accessed with Cranky Kong. So there you go. So this is kind of a little hint as to what Kong you're supposed to be using. It's cranky, so... Oh, I got 10 lives out of that one, that's nice. Sometimes the bonus multiplier will be lives, and that's really great. So there we go. Donkey Kong, Grandpa Kong, the old cranks. That's level one, two, one, three. And we've unlocked two additional levels. To complete world one, you have to unlock both. So that's one, two, one, three. Shipwreck Shore, Canopy Chaos. I've been D-Mike, this has been Donkey Kong Country Topical Freeze, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.